بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Zalpidem belongs to a class of drugs called sedatives or hypnotics. Zalpidem shares some characteristics of a family of sedatives called benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines cause sedation, muscle relaxation, act as anticonvulsants, and reduce anxiety. Zalpidem has selectivity in that it has little of the muscle relaxant and anti-seizure effects and more of the sedative effect. Therefore, it is used primarily as a medication for sleep. The oral spray form of Zalpidem, Zalpimist, has more rapid absorption than the tablet form because it is absorbed through the lining of the mouth. The FDA approved Zalpidem in December 1992. Zalpidem is used for treating insomnia. Conventional tablets are used for short-term treatment of insomnia associated with difficulty falling asleep. Long-acting tablets are used for treating insomnia associated with difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. Zalpidem improves initiation of sleep and keeps patients asleep longer. The most common side effects of Zalpidem are drowsiness, headache, weakness, dizziness, a drugged feeling, which probably reflect the action of the drug. Other side effects include confusion, insomnia, diarrhea, depression, dry mouth, rash, euphoria, ataxia, and visual changes. Zalpidem can cause withdrawal symptoms when the drug is abruptly discontinued. Zalpidem can cause abnormal behavior with confusion, paradoxical insomnia, or complex sleep-related behaviors, which may include sleep driving. If these side effects occur, Zalpidem should be discontinued. The recommended adult dose of Zalpidem conventional tablets or spray is 5 mg for females, the elderly, or fragile individuals, and 5 to 10 mg for males. The maximum dose is 10 mg daily. For females and the elderly, give 6.25 mg of extended release tablets, and males should receive 6.25 to 12.5 mg. The maximum dose of extended release tablets is 12.5 mg daily. Elderly patients have decreased ability to eliminate zalpidem from the body, and accumulating zalpidem may cause side effects. Alcohol has an additive effect with zalpidem and the two should not be combined. Zalpidem should not be combined with other sedative drugs because of the additive effects. Itraconazole and ketoconazole, nizorol, extina, zolagil, curic, may increase the blood concentration of zalpidem by reducing the activity.